ಓಂ ಅಮ್ಮ ನೋ ದ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಾರತಿ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಜೆ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಹಾರತಿ ಆರ್ ಆರತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಾರತಿ ಇತಿ ಆರತಿ ಹಾರತಿ ಹಾರತಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ which robs away which takes away which uh, completely eliminates from us that is one meaning there is another meaning arati arati rati means love or interest arati means immense interest or complete surrender or atma samarpana dear friends there are two kinds of aratis one is nirajanam to the god another is mangala harati to human beings and objects nirajanam uh, nirajana harati is offered as a gesture of complete surrender to god to seek uh, for his grace and protection and inner purification it is atma samarpana as you do the atma samarpana god's grace protects us and purifies us this is the purpose of arati it is offered as a last part of the puja that is shodasa upachara puja that are 16 steps of puja or upasana we will be dealing with them in future episodes of invoking god so as the last step of upachara puja or 16 shodasa upachara puja we do this arati to god now let us come to mangala aarati mangala aarati is offered to human beings to ward off any evil evil effects and seek auspiciousness for dishti or drishti that is negative glances many negative eyes look at us with uh, what do you call uh, uh, with avarice with hatred with anger many many kinds of feelings we uh, we we are recipients of many kinds of feelings to ward off the evil effects mangala aarti is offered to human beings so example to small babies it is a tradition to give a mangala aarti to the people who return home after success or accomplishments they are given mangala aarti to the people who are re- newly married couple they are offered mangala aarti before they enter the home or uh, any occasion then mahatmas are given mangala aarti to seek their blessings and ayudha puja during ayudha puja we offer aarti to inanimate objects the inanimate objects means like cars bicycles scooters books even veda veda shala even bullet carts and many instruments so this is for inanimate objects even for veena even for pen books all these things we offer aarati this is called mangala aarati the purpose is one is complete surrender to the god atma samarpana second is to uh, ward off the evil effects now the nirajana aarti to god it means at the end of the puja the aarti is offered to the deity normally it is karpura aarti using camphor aarti can also be offered by using many oil lamps deepam lit with cow's ghee or sesame oil aarti is shown by moving the camphor lit plate or deepam in the clockwise direction as the circle in front of the deity and finally the priest hand is shown to god as a gesture offering the light to the deity's eye or towards the deity at the end of the arati uh, the priest hand is shown to the god as a gesture of offering the light to the deity's eyes or towards the deity here the picture is ganga arati you can see so many lamps that are there on the ganga answer on the lamp this is offered to ganga mother ganga who is considered as goddess who is considered as <clears throat> so millions do aarti at the evening uh, 
as uh, as soon as the sun sets they do this mangala uh, they, they do this nirajana harati to ganga ma dear friends after uh, offering the harati to the deity it is shown to the devotees and devotees in turn make gesture of diverting flame to their eyes seeking raksha it is called as raksha so people take the flames to their eyes means they are seeking protection from the god first they offer then they seek protection from the god arati songs drum beats ring bell ring bells of ringing of the bells all accompany arati which symbolizes culmination of puja and devotees urge to surrender himself to god for the love and gratitude towards the god it all happens when arati is being performed everybody is in a different mood of surrender complete trying to become one with the god this happens normally while performing arati now let us see the spiritual significance burning of a camphor or karpuram is burning of vasanas on our ego when ego is completely eliminated surrender happens or when vasanas get exhausted mind becomes pure that means chitta shuddhi happens when vasana kshayam happens when vasana kshayam happens chitta shuddhi happens when chitta shuddhi happens then gyanam comes as a light so to get this vasana kshayam we have to surrender that is we have to do atma samarpana this is the symbolism of arati when surrender happens or mind becomes pure the self knowledge flames forth as a inner light giving the divine vision what is the divine vision if you really look vasanas are within us the self knowledge happen within us the inner light is also within us what is that happening we get a different vision the vision of awareness of looking the whole world is a complete atma samarpana bhava or oneness this is the philosophy and purpose of arati the camphor has a purpose as a property of burning without any remnant it symbolizes the complete destruction of ego or vasanas it has also medicinal effect of purifying the atmosphere and don't forget arati gives us protection from evil eyes by invoking divine energy to remove evil effects and negativities this is the significance of arati now offering arati to god is like offering a candle light to sun it is like child presenting a gift to its father from the father's money hence while offering the arati the below shloka from upanishads is chanted by many people it says na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam nema vidyuto bhanti kutoyam agnihi tameva bhanti manu bhati sarvam tasya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati he the lord is there where the sun does not shine nor the moon the stars and the lightning then what to talk of the small flame in my hand everything in the universe shines only after the lord and by his light alone we are all illuminated illumined dear friends every idea is sparked by the divine when you surrender to the god everything auspicious happens when you surrender to the god that is that light that inner jyoti that antar jyoti burns forth as knowledge so dhiyo yana prachodayat we say in gayatri mantra so that is the light of the universe so all the all the ideas that we get all the thoughts that we get which are good is because of god's grace that is the symbolism that inner light is the symbolism of arati surrender is the sin one simple word atma samarpana is the symbol is the significance or the purpose of arati om lokaha samastaha sukhino bhavantu om shanti shanti shanti